What is up, lovers of food? <laughs> you know what time it is. It's Friday. It's a little after 12 o'clock. It is time for Fun Day Friday, brought to you by RecTech, powered by Kingsford. It is the culmination of Valentine's Week here at RecTech. And we've been bringing you recipes to knock your socks off and turn your Valentine's Day all the way up to a 10. So without any further ado, we're going to keep this train rolling. I'm going to pass it over to my two main men, our master chef, Greg Muller, and your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. short intro i like it yeah yeah hey what's up everybody it's fun day friday <laughs> crack a beer funny. sit back relax and enjoy the most entertaining show on the internet shoot you nowadays shoot you. i did you know i did get a question from some rec tech family members out there was it shoot yeah or shoot yeah because if you listen to it it's kind of like a little chooch on the end <laughs> Shoot, yeah. Chooch, yeah. Shoot, yeah. Shoot, yeah. No, ya? it's it's shoot. Pew 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 pew. But if you listen, <laughs> if you listen to David, he's kind of like shoot, yeah. Oh uh, well, I in that know. video, he was slurring. He had been here for many many days. He hadn't left. You know, assumed so. a lot of blue bombers. Yeah, that man had About up that. all night getting all those scratch and dent grills ready. That's it's right. That's right. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. It is fun day Friday. <laughs> The culmination, the climax of our week, it has been Valentine's week. We've been getting you prepared for your loved ones all week. Make sure, if you haven't seen any of the videos, to go back and check those out. Uh, there are a lot of great ideas. And, we showed uh, you everything from land, air, and sea. Mm -hmm. That's right, that's right. Uh, anything that you can think of, make sure you go back and watch those videos and give us a like, give us a love. There's a lot of contests. We always give something away on most of those videos, so make sure you watch the entire thing. You could just win yourself something. Make sure you smash that share button. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. it. That's how we get paid, ladies and gentlemen. Spread that rec tech love all over the world. Chef John Pinnell, he's on the ones and twos. Yes, sir. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. We'll try our hardest to get to them. It is down there if you're watching us on YouTube. Uh, live comments are here. Other comments are down below. And if you're watching us on YouTube, hit that red rectangle down there. and We really would appreciate it. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that uh, reminder or notification bell as well because we'd be going live on YouTube every Thursday. That's what I'm sure talking enough. about. John, you got any good questions? Jody, you got uh, 200 people already in the comment section. Nice. And they're just talking about how cold it is in their parts of the world. We had someone in Iowa yeah, that said it was negative 21 degrees Jeez, right now. Nope. Crackers. Cheese yeah. and crackers. Man, that is uh, what when the Wi-Fi capability oh, of the yeah. grills really comes into play. Mm -hmm. You can turn your grill up, down, on, or off from anywhere in the world using the Rectech Grill the app. The warmth of your bed while right. you're cooking a brisket, a butt, you never know. You can lay in bed under your blanket just curled up. Yep. Next to your loved one. And if you use that uh, platinum tipped meat probe that comes standard, you can monitor the temperature of your meat as well. You don't even have to go outside at nope. all. Okay. Nope. And um, with the largest hoppers in the industry, that RT700 features a 40 pound hopper, yeah. you can easily cook for 40 hours at temperatures at 300 degrees and lower. Yes, so, sir. So, again, the best grill with the biggest hopper, burning those best Kingsford hickory pellets today. We got a good oh, recipe. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Two uh, of them, We didn't actually. do any pasta this week, so we're going to end with pasta. We got two great pasta dishes <laughs> for you. A lot of ladies and men love pasta. It's an easy go-to for them for their uh, Valentine's Day And you can share that dinner. bowl and like lady and tramp it like kind of in the middle like that. Yeah. I mean, start dessert early. Why not? Yeah. Greg's my Valentine. Uh, but, but, guys, one more time, <laughs> smash that share button for us. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Um, again, we are going to be doing, let me pull out my handy dandy card here with all of my information on it. So professional. Today, we're going to be doing Tuscan pasta and shrimp scampi on the yeah, RT 700 and bullseye. You kind of had your little finger out like a little highfalutin there. <laughs> Both of those grills are available at rectech.com right now. If you go to rectech.com right now, you will find out that we are doing a sale. I'm not going to tell you what the sale is. You got to go to rectech.com right now to check it out. But if 
you signed up for that newsletter at rectech.com, you would already know what that sale was about. Uh, and if you signed up at rectech.com forward slash lunch break, uh, you would have already have gotten a recipe mm -hmm. yesterday. For sure. Absolutely. Okay? For sure. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad. He is... Chef Greg Muller, your director of culinary innovation, freezing my ninnies off, right? I'm cold as well. Dude, it, it, I mean, I at least got a jacket on. You're just like man over here. I had a jacket you know, on. Bare <laughs> arms hanging out. We got uh, we got Chef John on the ones and twos. So guys, What's throw up, us some everybody? shade, throw us some hatred, give us some yes. comments in the, in the is, uh, comments below. We love criticism. I love reading it uh, after I get home, yep. and I love reading it out loud to my children, yep. so that they know what kind of person I am. There so please go. leave your criticism right. in the comment section Absolutely. down below, so my children can learn, you know, what I do at work. All but, right, so let's get this party started. Yesterday we did some delicious. What did we do yesterday? Ultimate roast chicken. Oh yeah. Okay, so again, I cook a lot of food because, especially things like chicken. You can utilize all week long. So we cook two chickens. And Essentially this is, meal planning, Greg. This is the meat from um, almost one of them because Sherpa got a hold of a leg. He's a leg guy, ladies. Watch out. <laughs> Sherpa, Sherpa is on the loose. But we've got some parsley, some sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of salami. I love, yes, you love, do. love, loving adding cured meats mm -hmm. into pasta dishes. It's a great way to add some fat and salt and a little bit of uh, you know uniqueness there. A little bit of fresh basil. We're doing yeah, this with a blush basil. cream sauce. Oh, Ooh, okay. So we got some tomatoes, uh, some rigatoni, some heavy cream, and then the ultimate shrimp scampi. We're gonna cook that on the RTB 380 bullseye with that little accessory. The matador Notice pan, the matador. Baby. 22 inch stainless steel pan available at rectech.com. And I know Jody said you gotta go to the website, but right now I'll just let the cat out of the bag. If you purchase an RTB 380 bullseye, or an RT340, you can get the Matador RTG450 or a Rectech Icer45 for $50 off. What? Yep. That's what I'm saying. Don't sleep on the Icers, Double ladies and gentlemen. They are much, much cheaper than all of the other premier cooler companies out there. And, uh, and they're not nearly as cool. Absolutely not. They are not individuals. They don't have like a fingerprint on them like they ours do. do. So They do. Um, and then some red pepper flakes. I like, it's not going to make it spicy, but it's really going to bring a good bit of heat. Yes. And yes. then... Sherpa almost had a disaster on his hand because I was smoking some garlic. Oh, <laughs> okay. Garlic. I've got a bunch of cloves of garlic in here, some olive oil. We went 225 for like three hours. Yes. And then the Sherpa turned the grill up to 450. I wish you guys could smell <laughs> this though. And I caught it like right as it could have went bad. It but looks like, perfect though, Sherpa. Right, oh yeah. So but I mean, perfect. five minutes at 450, that would have been toast. So let's slow it down. Toast. Right? Um, this is something that uh, you can really amplify any dish with. Absolutely. Uh, and a lot of folks don't realize that you can do this. So, so slow it down and tell them exactly what yep. all we did here. So all we did was put some fresh garlic bulbs. That we bought them pre-peeled at the grocery store. Okay, wait a second. Now, that's a very good point because that makes it much, much easier to prepare. For sure. Um, and we just put them in the uh, little olive oil here. Oh, you yes. can see the texture of that. Yes. So I'm not going to get all, like, garlicky because you know what? I don't want my loved one to have the garlic. Breath. You know what I mean? Like now, how long does this uh, keep, Chef Greg? Oh, you could put this in a jar in the fridge, and it's gonna last a good while. But you can see you oh. got that garlic pulp right there. That's the good good. Man, me for me, ladies and gentlemen, um, that extra olive oil. I actually like to separate that. Yes. And then I'll use that olive oil yes. to do everything with. So you know, I'll do this about once a month, and I will uh, do enough to where I could fill up a jar like this yeah. of olive oil. And but then you um, just take that garlic oh and smear shit. it on some butter <laughs> yeah. or some, uh, wow. some bread. Wow. Oh, my heavens. Now, there Jody, go, if you really want to take it to the next level, you could put some rosemary, some thyme yeah, in there with that garlic and that oil, and then use that oil. Like Woo. herb butter, that's right. Knock your socks off good. But this right here, you could do this mm -hmm. to amplify a meal, and that would be enough for Valentine's Day. Because mm -hmm. this sure. is like, oh, man. This is super special. We gotta smash that share button. Three, two, one, smash, smash it. Smash that garlic. Smash, smash it. it. All right, let's get crack like it. Crack a like it. You wanna do uh, chicken yeah. or you wanna do that first? It doesn't matter. Now, both of these, you can swap. If you don't like chicken, use shrimp. If you don't yeah. like shrimp, use chicken on both of these dishes, okay? okay. All right, let's do, um, let's do the, uh, the shrimp scampi. Yep. All right, so we've it's got that first, right? RTB 380 bullseye and that matador pan. Grab that shrimp, Jody. Yes, sir. We're going to add a good bit of olive oil in here, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of pepper flake. Hold on. We need that garlic. Oh, yeah. We're going to add raw garlic. All right, go ahead and get that shrimp in there. Yep, we got to cool that oil down. All of this shrimp, Chef Greg? Yeah, buddy. All, everybody in the pool. Now, now, how much, now uh, Chef Greg, how much shrimp is this? 
while Jody's putting that shrimp in there, what are the advantages of using that matador pan on the bullseye? <laughs> oh, wow. So there's a lot of advantages to using the matador pan on the bullseye. One is you're going to get much more even uh, heating across the whole entire pan. That is, uh, that is one for sure. The second one is you're actually, when you close the lid, you're able to get that Kingsford hickory pellet smoke onto that food that is in that pan as well. So you're able to smoke it as well as cook it in that matador pan. Now that matador pan fits perfectly in the RT B380 bullseye and makes an amazing accessory or an addition to having uh, the RT B380 bullseye. Yeah, and especially we're making a lot of food. If you were doing right. shrimp scampi for just a handful of people, just a regular matador or a cast yep. iron pan is just, just fine with that. cast iron skillet. So we added some pepper flakes, some shrimp, some olive oil, a little bit of butter. We're gonna let that go for a little bit. And I mean, shrimp scampi is really easy. I'm gonna go ahead so and put this bread over here in this grill. Warm that bread up. up. We'll grab some some basil. Okay, just chop that up. Fresh basil, ladies oh, and gentlemen, yeah, absolutely. makes a difference. Huge I promise difference. you. Now, we've got some pasta already cooked off, and if you don't save your pasta water, ah, stop you're a the bus. Back it up, Greg. <laughs> right there. Stop the bus, Greg. Back you it gotta up. Gotta save your pasta water. All right. Why would you need to or would want to save your pasta water? Salt, starch, and it's delicious. Okay, because you got some good salty water if in there. If you're not saving your pasta water, you're letting your Italian grandmother down and she's falling <laughs> in her grave right now. Oh, she's pissed. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add Oh the yeah. shrimp. Is looking good. Look at that. Smash that share button, guys. Look at those scrimps Whoops. looking absolutely delicious in that matador pan. We are doing Tuscan pasta and shrimp scampi today on the 700 and bullseye. Both of these grills are available at rectech.com right now. Go to rectech.com. Pull we bottle ship, one. Ship That's within. Pull bottle. Ship within a couple of days. Uh, it usually takes less than 14 business days to get there to you. It ships Thanks, right to your door absolutely for free. Um, you can't go wrong with it, can't especially go wrong. with that PID controller can't in both the 700 and Bullseye. They're going to maintain temperature perfectly. Yep. They're not going to deviate. I even saw a Facebook post this morning from a gentleman. He was in negative 10 degree and it temperature, just fine. Yeah. and the grill didn't deviate one nope. degree. He even showed his graph. He even had his graph up there and screenshotted it and everything. It's impressive. The PID controller is super, super dependable, Greg. Again, uh, pharmaceutical companies, breweries, bakeries, all of those cats, they use that PID controller because they know it's the gold standard when it comes to temperature control. But, I mean, the hardest part about cooking, we talked about it yesterday, is making sure you got the right heat for your meat. And again, <laughs> What'd you say, Greg? The hardest part about cooking is making sure you got the right heat for your meat. Oh, That's okay, it. all right, cool. Just making sure, just making sure. You I know, you don't want to get crazy with it. No, you heard me right. You heard me right. Um, John, you got a good question. I see it in your beautiful I uh, sure enough eyes. do. This one's coming from uh, Raymond Amazing. Weiss. Uh, he said I was distracted. What was the time and the temp when making the garlic? Uh, garlic. Uh, so I went 225 for about two hours. Uh, it was perfect. It also depends on the size of your garlic cloves. And don't do like Sherpa and turn the grill up to 450. There you go. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I got another question from. But you can also hold oh, on, Chef sorry, John. You can sorry. also do it whole in oh, the yeah. uh, bulb as yep. well. Just cut that root off, good tip. okay? Squeeze good it. Tip. Out. Expose that. You can put a little bit of olive oil on top. Uh, put it. I use a little bit of a little tin foil bowl to kind of keep them uh, facing upward. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Super simple. All right, All right. Uh, hold go on, John. real quick. Bill uh, Mayer wants to know what temp is the bullseye on when you're cooking uh, that shrimp? Five hundred. Five hundred on that one. You can go riot mode too. No big yep. deal. Now I'm got, a huge fan of that 500 just because riot mode, man, it gets so freaking hot, Greg. We've got the 700 on 500 as well. We're going to add a little pepper flake. And see that sizzle? That's going to give you, release oh, some of those yes. fats and oils. I can't wait for Elon Musk to invent smell vision <laughs> A little bit of salami in both. And we're going to leave this alone for just like two minutes. Now that salami, it's just going to start sweating that fat out. It's going to start releasing all of that flavor and start marinating oh, yeah. that delicious earl. Yeah, well, it hit with some tomatoes, the chicken, cook that down. Um, some sun-dried tomatoes, heavy cream, it'd be good to go. Now, what, now you, you said something like a blush sauce. Yeah, so it's going to be like a, a blush cream sauce. So with the, the red of the tomatoes and the sun-dried tomatoes, okay. it's going to be like a pink cream sauce. Who doesn't want to eat, like, you know, eat cool. pink food on eat, Valentine's Day? Eat, right, absolutely. And this is a savory pink. You oh, know, yeah. When I think for sure. Pink, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking sweet, but I like a good savory right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. A good savory pink. You know what I'm saying? Now, we've Especially got our on Valentine's Day. We got Am our, I right, guys? The guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> we've got our pasta water here. So, we're going to go ahead and add 
our pasta water. Now, because all of that starch and all of that salt and all of that deliciousness, it's gonna help uh, actually thicken up everything. Right, Chef Greg? Absolutely. And we've got our pasta that's like 70% cooked. Okay, so we're gonna go Al ahead and add dente. our pasta. Man, that looks absolutely and amazing. And we're just gonna leave that alone for you know, maybe five, five, ten minutes. It's that simple. And that sauce is going to thicken up and it's going to become beautiful and delicious. Yep. And again, it's getting kissed right now. It is getting kissed, not my I meat. Think of that, that not seal my chef Greg. Kissed we are by not kissing room. that stuff. That Kingsford Hickory smoke is kissing that pasta right now, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, Sherpa. So we got a little crispiness oh, yeah. to our salami. Now we've got sun dried tomatoes that are packed in oil. Okay. Okay. Add everybody in the pool, just that like that. Great. Okay, we're gonna add the uh, tomatoes. Look at this, I like it. I got you, dog. And we're gonna cook this again for just about two minutes. Okay. That's it, it's that simple. Then we're gonna add a little bit of So our we're adding, heating up, letting it marry together, add, heating up, You have to You have together. to build your layers of flavor. Now, if you uh, don't do that, you're not really gonna bring the flavor elevator all the way up. You're now, gonna get pretty good, but we wanna right. be very good. When this is Valentine's Day. When should we taste, Chef Greg? I know we talk about we talk about it all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Taste your food when you are cooking. When would be the strategic times to taste this God, food when we're cooking? Fantastic question. So if it's something new that you've never cooked it before, okay. I would recommend tasting it at every stage. Okay. And that way you kind of know what's going on, okay? What you don't wanna do is have it done and realize, holy cow, this is way salty. Okay, because if you let that wine reduce and it was too salty because maybe you pre-seasoned it, you could maybe thin out your uh, cooking liquid with a little bit of water or not add as much and that way it won't be as salty. Oh, In the case of this, when we cook the cream down, it's going to get thick. Well, we don't want it to be too thick and then all of a sudden we have a big gluey mess up. Right. It's very not, good point, not, Chef Greg. Not good business. Guys, think, ladies and gentlemen, think about this when you're cooking for your loved ones. These are very good and That's helpful right. tips and tricks. Again, we do this every day, Monday through Friday, live right here on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, uh, TikTok. We That's do right. it all, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you follow us on all social media. Set those notifications. Why? Because we go live all the time. We're giving away stuff all the time. All the time. You don't want to miss out on that. You can win the grill of your dreams just by Today watching Today we're going to spin that wheel of rec tech. You never That's know right. what it's going to land on. That's right. Oh, no. But you did re you did just reinvent the new uh, social media. What did I do? Snap trap. Snap trap. I'm on a parlor too, even though they shut it down. <laughs> all right, we'll add a little bit of garlic in I here. I got that barbecue dad name, and boom, they shut the social media down. Some chicken. <laughs> and again, you could use shrimp in here. You could use chicken. Your favorite meats. Oh man. So how many would this serve, Chef Greg, in the RT700 right now? Oh, that's easily like four to six people per pan. Okay. Easily. Per pan. Per pan. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. This Smokes. is this is gonna be hearty, okay? Hearty people. Okay, all right. All right. And again, this recipe is gonna be available. How and when? Alright, so once Charlie types it up, I gotta type him up, get him to him this afternoon. Uh, make sure you subscribe to all of the email notifications in regards to recipes, rectech.com slash lunch break. And uh, probably maybe midweek, this won't come out. Right, it just right. depends. Absolutely. Or just rewatch this episode That's like right. a madman or mad woman and just write it all down. Easy peasy. <laughs> And, and these are super simple. There's not a ton of ingredients to this stuff, guys. No, all you gotta do is watch the video once That's or right. twice. And heck, that helps us out if you watch this video more than once. It really does. Yep. Please watch these videos. That's right. We got well, Jody, a little, little bit of uh, basil. Oh, Sherpa, get in there. Get in there, Sherpa. What are we doing today for all those people that are just now tuning in? Oh, all of those people that are just now tuning in, we are gonna do a giveaway at the end of the show. Yeah, we're we are. We're gonna spin that wheel of rec tech just because you guys are tuning in. So make sure you watch the entire episode because we're gonna be spinning that wheel of rec tech and we're gonna be giving something away. Something like an RT700. Ooh. Ooh. I want, I want the mystery like box. RT340 or RT590. Or a zip up jacket. Or a Jody or, mystery box. Or a, the, Jody, the Jody mystery box could be pretty cool. I yeah. got a lot of stuff in that box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he does. There's some good stuff, there's some bad stuff. <laughs> Man, get, gosh, where you at, Charles? Yeah, that thing is so pretty right now. I just want to take a picture of this and hang this up over That's right. my mantle. I just want everybody uh, out there to smash that share button. Oh, oh. In three, two, one, smash, smash it! it. 
Johnny, we're with questions. That I see for... our friends in Facebook land leaving all kinds of comments. Yep. Guys, let us know where you're watching from. We need to know. They have, they are out here and they are saying this stuff looks absolutely delicious. But Jody, we got a lot of questions about upcoming events, where we're going to be, <laughs> when we're going to be there, new products that are coming out. What oh, do they need to do yeah. go to get these answers? You guys, you got to sign up for the God, newsletter. So at excited Rick. right now. <laughs> go. To rectech.com right now, the first thing I need you to do is read the giant banner at the top, baby. Then look at that beautiful picture right up underneath the banner. After that, scroll all the way down to the bottom and then insert your email where it says sign up for the newsletter. That's all you got to do. Make sure you fill out all the information. Make sure you check all the boxes and sign up for all the cool stuff. We will send you emails, I promise you. We will bombard your email inbox if you allow us. You got to check all those boxes, though, ladies and gentlemen. Jerry, I got a serious question for you. I am. I have got a serious answer for you. How many cups of coffee you drink this morning? Uh, <laughs> this morning, I woke up and I had about three or four cups of coffee today. Yeah. And that yeah. was this morning. Yeah. After that, any any more? No, just I, uh, I uh, there was the coffee machine in there, and boy, I hit it up right when I got here too. Jody gets it's excited more. about shrimp though too. I he get excited about, about shrimp. Sales? <laughs> we don't ever do them. Well, not li lately. We've been doing them all the time. I get excited about sales. I get excited about that PID controller. Oh, Why? Yeah. Because it is the gold standard when it comes to temperature control. You get excited not about that. Everybody good else food. can talk about that. We can. Wow. All right, I gotta Sorry. I gotta Next ask you guys level. something, and I know y'all. I'm gonna take some hits for asking this, uh, but I'm gonna because the people are asking me. They want to know about Rec Tech Fest. Rec Tech Fest, we, guys, normally, it, it, actually, I got a, uh, a little thing in my notification of social media that Rec Tech Fest was actually one year ago today. Yes, it was. It was sure enough was. One year ago today. Sure enough was. But we, uh, fortunately, due to the climate of the United States, we needed to push back that Rec Tech That's Fest right. date, and we're looking at May. We're hoping for May. We have not, uh, it is not set in stone, but we are hoping for May Rec Tech Fest 20. 21 the ultimate extravaganza okay think that's that's going to answer a lot of questions in the comment that's section right there but Jerry. all they got to do is sign up for the newsletter that's it. Well, they're not gonna ready let, for it because it's going to be like yeah. rec tech crazy. fest 2.0 but Woo! it's going to be like off the charts next, next level off the i'm excited I, I just want to come hang out with people Yep, that's what I want to do. All right, but so we're Jordan we're using, can't just let us talk. No, he's over there no, just pushing. He's, no, he's <laughs> pushing. Doing, he's doing what he needs to do. He's doing a good job. Um, I do. It is Black History Month, and I like that uh, Jordan and uh, John wanted Absolutely. to do the Black History facts. I dig it. Yeah. So I do have a Black History fact for you, ladies and gentlemen. The Lone Ranger. You guys all know him. He uh, he's wearing all white. That's he's right. Got the, yeah. He's got the uh, the mask uh -huh. on and whatnot. And it's like Had Tonto right. was his little. He's uh, like the Robin Hood of the West. That's yeah. right. Yep. And he was actually based on a black cowboy named Bass Reeves. Bass nice. Reeves. Bass there Reeves. Bass Reeves was born a slave, and he actually became the first black lawman. Yes. West of the Mississippi. That's what I'm talking about. West of the Mississippi. There you go. That is a great it. Right? fact. That is a great a fact. It is. Um, that is a great fact. But these shrimp, did you know that I got a great deal on these shrimp, Greg? You did? Yeah, I did. I did. I bought them at a prawn sale. Oh! oh. Prawn shop. I ruined oh. it. Uh. <laughs> this is your dad's joke of the week brought to you by Shiner Beer. There's nothing funner than a Shiner Beer. There, get yourself a Shiner Bock beer. I got them at a prawn shop. Sorry, Prawn buddy. shop. I it was okay. It. It's it a was prawn good. shop. Uh, it worked. You hand me some gloves? Is anyway. that a new official Shiner glass right there, Jody? No, you I just couldn't find the Shiner. Uh, I couldn't find the Shiner. Oh, that's right. You have that Shiner keg now. That's right. We do. We have Shiner so on nice. draft that's now right. <laughs> at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters. So if you're ever in town, come by. And Get a cool a Shiner. Beer. It's, it's for you guys, of course. Man, but get on in there, Sherpa. Those All right, so we're going to let this heavy cream kind of come to a simmer that cream with our pasta. So oh, thick. so thick. So good. God, thick cream. So that chicken <laughs> is going to warm up in there and get oh, super yeah. duper tasty. Mm. And that's mm. it. Super simple. It's about mm. a pound of pasta in each pan. Mm. I made too much pasta. Ooh, I wish okay. you guys no, could Greg, smell the smells from off this grill. make too much pasta. Well, because half the time people just walk around and eat it all of that's it. True. That's true. That's fine, too. I can eat it without anything on it. Yeah, just a straight Oh, sure, but get on pasta. in there. I can't believe you just walked on the other side of that table right now. Guys, smash that share button. Three, two, one. Smash, smash it. it. Don't forget, we're going to be giving away something later. We're also going to be announcing a winner in just a little bit. Heck, I can do that right now. Uh -oh. We spun that wheel of rec tech last week, and it landed on a... Amazing, one of a kind. Yeah. Available at Rectech.com. Mm -hmm. Rectech hat. Okay. Ooh. Now that Rectech hat is valued at twenty nine ninety nine, ladies boys. and gentlemen. 
These is that the one that Greg has on right now? It, no, it no, 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 no. These that's, are that's these are exclusive. limited edition. Oh, I've got like okay. six of these okay. low dome. Be, <laughs> you know, it can be any hat available at Rectech.com, or you can get a you can choose from a hat out of Jody's mystery box. Ooh, ooh, they're all random hats. That's in there. nice. I even um, might even go after Stevie's wall of hats. Because Stevie has the most yeah, he does. I can't collection touch. of hats. He, he won't he won't let you touch those hats. No, though. you just yeah, go down there, he's yeah. not in there, and just grab it. <laughs> I did reorganize them last Academy <laughs> and like just the, mixed them all up. He was pissed. The white <laughs> trashiest thing ever. And Stevie's got a wall of baseball hats. It's so <laughs> funny. That he wears. It's yeah, like yeah. thirty five hats. hats. No, no, dude, it's way more hats. <laughs> he wears, he puts it on there and he goes, Doop. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's I'm right. Let's go. Yep. Like And they're all gross. Like yuck, Stevie. I wouldn't give those hats to anybody. But we, we spun that wheel of rec tech like we do every week, and it landed on a hat. And the winner of that hat, it could be a male, it could be a female. Oh. It's, it's a male. Boom. Sorry, thank you. Mr. K.T. Ruthven. Hey, hey congratulations. Go, congratulations. Last name spelled R-U-T-H-V-E-N. Make sure you reach out to us via the Facebook app. Direct messages via Facebook. We will check and make sure that it is indeed you. We will get your information. We will send you out that new hat of your choice. Thank you for participating, for KT sure. Ruthven. Yeah, buddy. The um, that matador is done. Is so it done, baby? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead we and just a, do one of these. Uh, we got a. Uh, the rings inside. You want to grab us that ring, Charlie? It should be in the you kitchen. Know that, you remember that? Uh, the windscreen the for the wind matador. Screen? Charlie's like, I have is? no clue. Charlie, you're you Can know what it help is. Us, He'll help so the cool thing about the Matador, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever cook on it, if you get one, you can actually take off the windscreen from the legs. You can place it on your table and it acts as a trivet for you. So you can actually serve from that Matador pan. Yeah, you say if you get. It's more like when you get. Yeah, True when story. You because you honestly, you, 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 want, you need the Matador in your life. Especially if you've got an RTB3 at Bullseye, Without it's a great a compliment um, because that pan alone, compliment. that pan alone is several hundreds of dollars by Absolutely. itself, and it's not nearly as nice as the stainless steel one that comes standard with that matador. Inch stainless steel. The competition, they powder coat paint theirs. This nope. is going to peel off. This is going to rust. Uh, but the competition doesn't come standard with the uh, adjustable feet. The competition doesn't come standard with the lid, the tools, the adapter hose, the windscreen. Yep. The competition does nope. not come with that, ladies and gentlemen. The Rectech Matador is the hands down best gas walk cooker out there on the market. And more important than all of that, and that was a lot, it's a stainless steel pan, which Boom. means it's non-reactive. You can cook acidic things like wine. You wouldn't want to do that in a cast iron pan, okay? You wouldn't want to make spaghetti sauce in a, in a uh, you know, carbon steel pan. It's gonna give it like a really off color and flavor. Stainless steel is the way to go for all of your cooking right. needs. Looks like they're having trouble. John, you got I one, one last yes, question. Yes, I got a I question. So, uh, for, we have a lot of people out here that are gonna be buying gifts for their loved ones, and they're like asking, it. what is the best accessory for our grills? So, new accessories, we have those Rectech aprons. Uh, Jody and Chef John showed you guys that yesterday on Product Spotlight at four o'clock. For me, rub and sauce bundle, because it's, everything in one box. You get the Ben's Heifer Dust, you get the Jody's Asian Persuasion, you get uh, Ray's Warm Apple Pie, mm -hmm. which if you're sleeping on that, okay, yep. I'm telling you, all your baked dishes, muffins, cakes, pies, cookies, yeah. I put it in my rib wrap. <laughs> you heard that right? In the rib wrap, okay? So you get good. all of our rubs, all of our sauces, it is absolutely delicious. Man, what I found? So. This is the windscreen. Yeah. What it does Have is it holds you? the legs together and it uh, blocks the wind from hitting that burner. Boom! Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Presentation I just, style. I can just sit here, scoop that stuff in my face. But look, this is absolutely amazing, Chef Greg. And this is this is easily going to feed like ten to twelve people. This well, or one Jody Flanagan. I'll eat all this shrimp for sure. Oh yeah, no doubt. But again, let that sit and it'll absorb all that juice. We got all that wine in there. Okay. All that delicious stuff. That right there, that's the good good. Shoot. It's yeah. a shrimp scampi facial. Now, Who doesn't want that? Now, Greg, Jody? what kind of wine would you serve this with, with your lady? So I'm going to go with a nice, crisp, dry white wine. So that Chardonnay, whatever you're going to cook with, grab two bottles, maybe three bottles, Ooh, yeah. maybe even four bottles. It depends on what case. you're to go. Just grab the See case. case. I'm telling you, yeah. you'll save money. You really will I save money you. by the and bottle. And Especially if you get that store, sixer. Yeah, your liquor store rep will love you. Yeah. Um, but this is a super easy recipe to do for your, your lady in your life, your oh, man yeah. in your life. And again, you're going to have a lot left over. 
Uh, how long? Could you freeze this, Greg? No, no. I, you're not going to have anything left over. Okay. I mean, Definitely pasta's not. okay reheated, um, but for me, you're going to crush this. But if you don't like shrimp, you could do this with scallops. You Ooh, could do this with mussels. You could do this with clams. Okay. You can even do like a spicy uh, clam sauce, okay. add a little bit of uh, you know tomato sauce in there, give it that rosé color. It would be absolutely delicious. Um, you could even do this with calamari. Or Ooh. you oh. buy those like frozen seafood packs that has like you know some conch, octopus, oh, calamari, good, all in one idea, thing. You can put that in there and be absolutely delicious just like that. Holy smokes. That was a great suggestion. It was. Guys, all week long has been filled with suggestions and tips and tricks just like this. Make sure you follow us on all social media. Make sure you watch the videos more than once. Uh, you'll, I promise you, you'll learn times. something. We will help you um, learn and be able to use your Rectech pellet grill better each and every day. Oh, yeah. The more you watch us, the better you get, I promise you. John, you got a great question. Yeah, this one comes from Alan Arrington. He, hey, says, Alan. he says, what is Rectech Fest? So Rectech Fest is essentially our customer appreciation celebration. We essentially have a giant party where we provide food. We have a little bit of a scratch and dent sale, a little little warehouse sale. Uh, we also have an internal in-house sale for all of the folks that come out of town to come and celebrate with us. We've got music, food, drinks, um, food, 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 vendors, yeah. st bounce houses, stuff for the kitties. We've got the playground. We've got movies. I mean, they, it is essentially a gigantic thank you. Fest. Last year, we went through 5,500 hot dogs. Year before. Year before. All right. That's right. Did I say last year? Yeah, you said last year. Yep. This year. Rest year in peace, 2020. Yeah. Same thing, right? Ni no. 2019. 2019. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just skipped right over 2021. Sorry. Greg said 2020 yeah, no, didn't happen. It was like. It didn't happen. 5,000 hot dogs. We had yeah. 90 pork butts, yeah. two 200 pound whole hogs. And we went through something like 240 racks of ribs. Yeah. It was insane. Insane. Nobody had, else does it like that. We had Columbia that. County Police Department up here. There, <laughs> there, there was a line out the road. It was right, crazy. Right. They might have been up Guys, here several times. Guys, check out the video on YouTube. Just go to the RecTech YouTube channel, subscribe, and check out that RecTech Fest video. You can also, there was actually a couple of podcasts shot here for RecTech Fest. You can actually go to the So Smoking Gooder Show, available on uh, iTunes as well as Spotify, but the So Smoking Gooder Show, our boy Rob Arocha from Texas was in town cooking for all those folks. We had Texas Pitmasters, we had Georgia mm -hmm. Pitmasters, mm -hmm. you know, we had folks uh, volunteering all in town just to make food and uh, make sure everybody had a great time. Did you say Rob Arocha? Rob Arocha. Bullhorn Barbecue? Bull <laughs> Bullhorn Barbecue. <laughs> so Rob guy. Arocha will actually be one of the guest pitmasters oh, this summer sweet. for Rectech Academy. And if you guys want to know all about Rectech Academy, jump over to rectech.com slash academy. That's we right. are sold out for 2021, but I did hear we might add a couple dates. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we might add a couple dates. I was in that meeting too, Greg. And you never know when someone's going to back out. We do have a wait list, so if you guys want to get in on that, go ahead and shoot me an email, chefgreg at rectech.com. Um, there is a pretty extensive wait list, but I have a feeling we, we're probably going to be able to fill that up. Yep. <laughs> just saying, if you're on the list, you're just on the be on the lookout because I'll be calling you or emailing you between today Tomorrow. and Monday. <coughs> Sorry, everybody. I got a question I from. Uh, trip and I got it in my throat. There you go. That's you get. I, I, Dwight so that's get. Torcola asks, "Where can I buy the Kings for pellets? I can't find them anywhere." Walmart.com, for sure. You know, if you have any Publixes near you, uh, Walmart, Lowe's, um, uh, Menards, Dollar General, um, there are Kroger's. There are a couple yeah. other stores, but go to Walmart.com. You can actually have it delivered right to you, or for you sure. can pull up to Walmart and they will load it in your car for you but those Kingsford pellets are super, super readily available. But if you can't find them near you, any pellets that are super readily available to you will work just fine, okay, ladies and gentlemen? A lot of folks get hung up, you know, I know on brand names and things like that, but if you can't get them, guys, just go to your local store uh, or, you know, whatever you can get. That's what it's all about is whatever you can get. Again, right. the best grill that's on the best grill out there is the grill that's on your back porch. Mm -hmm. and the best pellets out there are the pellets that you could actually get to your home, okay? Sure. It's so. amazing how much smoke flavor you get that's in a shrimp. That's what I was telling them, Greg. That, that thing is kissed yeah. by that Kingsford Hickory smoke. Mm -hmm. Because, again, that dome, when you close that dome, that smoke just rolls right over that pasta and creates that deliciousness. Oh, Man, yes. Chef Greg. Now that looks pretty. Look at that bubbly. I wish bubbly. we had smell of vision You guys, you guys love smash it. that share button. Smash it. And then you got to make it nice and colorful. 
Huge a little yeah, fresh chef, herbage. Oh, yeah, okay. throw a herb little more red pepper flakes on there. Chef, you could. Man. That's gonna be a little warm there, buddy. That's you got you got the coughs when it came to the uh, the shrimp, the peppered shrimp. Yes, that's uh, what you want right there. Nice, thick, and creamy. Oh wow! You're gonna girthy. need a nap before you get oh, dessert that is after this. Thick with a bunch of seasoning. Yeah, that's a girthy noodle crackers. right there. Man, that is the thickest noodle I've ever seen. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. But yeah, we've got to spin that wheel of rec tech. Uh, who's turn? Oh, it's my turn. I'm yep. going to take it. I was take out it. Last you week. go, Jody. 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 All right. So for those of you who don't know, this is the wheel of rec tech. We spin this every Friday. We spin this wheel of rec tech every Friday. And there's only two rules to it. You spin it hard or with the utmost confidence in yourself. And you always spin it to the right or clockwise, OK? That's the two rules. Um, but it's got a lot of cool stuff on here. We're going to put it on something that we want to give away. So the highest value item is going to be that 590. So hopefully that's what we'll land on. Somebody give me a countdown. Three, two, one, spin, spin it. Wheel. Ooh, oh, look that at that spin. Girthy spin yeah, right there. Yeah, bud. Jeez, the crackers. Guys, he didn't break it. to win whatever this thing lands on, smash that share button. You have to share this video. You have to love this video. And you have to put in the comment section, hashtag rec tech life lifestyle. Life spell. Lifestyle. R-E-C-T-E-Q lifestyle. Here we go. Oh, Slow it down, coming. Jody. It's coming close. It's coming uh, close. Oh, it's 340. Oh, 340. Oh, 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 that's right. That's right. We have some amazing shirts out there. All right, guys, if you want to win yourself a t-shirt of your choice available at rectech.com, make sure you smash that share button, give this video a love, and put in the comment section down below, hashtag rectech lifestyle. Again, we cooked a lot of amazing recipes all week this Valentine's week. Shoot make you. sure you watch those videos. Go back and watch those videos, okay? I promise you, you're gonna find one or two things out of there that you can cook, that you can go to the store and find all of the ingredients readily available right there at your hometown, I promise you. All of these recipes are gonna be available. Sign up for them at rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Right. Just sign up for them. Sign up for the newsletter, rectech.com. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of any homepage insert your email where it says sign up for the newsletter and we will send you emails about rec tech fest about sales specials uh, when we have things in stock when Always. we're going places where we're going so make sure you stay up to date and sign up for the newsletter and of course you got to set your notifications and follow us all on social that's media, right Chef john that's got right to, because you never know when we're going to pop up and do something on our own personal stories that's right mm -hmm. and i'd hate for y'all to miss out on some amazing sometimes, amazing sometimes content the scene stuff is the best part Absolutely, especially when we pick on Sherpa and Jordan. Yeah. Yes, that's All our right, favorite. I'm going after that chicken pasta. Did y'all make me a plate? Okay. Right okay. There, baby boy. Here, let me switch it over, but, Sherp. Oh, man, that cream sauce. Oh, I love cream sauce in my mouth. Mm. <sighs> oh. All right, here I go. Good oh, sweetness. Oh, man. That shrimp is so good. Mm -hmm. Man, this cream sauce, though, I'm telling you. Is that cream sauce where it's at? Oh, some red tomatoes. <laughs> Oh yeah, little oh, kilo Ali God. right there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm cream sauce all the way today. So delicious, creamy. Wow. You got those sun-dried tomatoes in there. Give wow. a little bit of acid. And don't be that guy that, that puts cheese on seafood. That hard okay? salami. There's no cheese on the top of your scampi. Mm. I mean, yeah, treat yourself. Live your best rec tech yeah, lifestyle. You want that parmesan on there? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No cheese. But that right there's. Mm. That's pretty good. You two can cook this amazing food. All you got to do is get yourself mm. a Rectech Pellet Grill. That's all you have to do. Mm. Is it good, boy? So good. This recipe is going to be available very, very soon. Make sure you check out the newly revamped recipe section at Rectech.com today. Wow. It does not suck. We knocked mm. it out of the park on the RT700 and RTB380. Both of those grills are available at Rectech.com right now. They are superly, superly, superly. They are very, <laughs> very sought after. <laughs> But again, they if you pick up that, any time. if you pick up that now. RTB 3D bullseye, you can get that Rectech RTG 450 Matador That's or right. that Rectech Icer 45 cooler, fifty dollars off. That's you just right. want to save some money. I'm telling you that a 45 comes in three amazing colors, so you know, live your best life. Oh yeah. Will you get a little more, Jody? I'm gonna get a little more, but I think that's everything. I think we hit it all up. Don't forget that we go live on Twitter after we go off the air here. 
Um, make sure you follow us on all social media. Mm. Watch the other shows. Rewatch them over and Many over times. and mm -hmm. over again. We Share really them to all your it. favorite social media platforms. That's right. He is at Chef Greg Muller on social media. He is at Chef John Pinnell. I am at BBQ Dad Jody. Make sure you follow us. And from everybody here at the worldwide headquarters of RecTech, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And, and we will see you at the RecTech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Wreck that lifestyle. Set it. Come, come get it. So when the sun starts going down, down live your life the way you like. It's wreck that lifestyle. Do, do, do. Burn a little air on. Do, do, do. Burn a little air. Do, do, do.